Hey, hello. I saw your thing on Omegle, and you're really hot. Haha, <laughs> thank you. No problem. You got a girlfriend? I, I do, actually. No. Honestly, you looked a little gay. What is up my aesthetic boys, it's Fresh back with another video. On today's episode of r slash nice girls, we take a look at a whole bunch of people who seem to only experience self-fulfillment by putting down others. I don't want to brag, but to be honest, I'm the kindest, the most loyal, and the most loving soul you will ever get in your life. Being pretty and sexy are the add-on qualities which shouldn't be ignored, so if you lose me, it's definitely your loss. I am not the person who gives up on people easily, but if I gave up on you, that's because I got tired of being the only one who puts in effort. I will still love you from a distance, but will make sure that I stay away from your life. Lots of love, blurry redacted, ah, and she's humble too. You know, I often find in life that the people who feel the need to tell others that they're the most loving or the nicest, those people who actively seek that kind of external validation for these traits, they're often the ones lacking in them the most. Don't keep going out of your way to tell people that you're the nicest person. Live it. Real girlfriends don't comment on their boyfriend's photos. They just monitor comments and screenshot suspicious comments for quarreling. Wait. Why is this formatted like an inspirational quote? This is not an inspirational quote! I guess good girls finish last too, or something. Us good guys sure do. I know. It's a curse. Yeah, we do. Well, good guys should be with good girls. I'm not even so sure why it's so hard for this to even parallel or match up. Wait, thank God someone finally brought it up! That's right, we're talking about the nice paradox. How can a group of guys and girls simultaneously believe that the entirety of the opposite sex only wants one thing? That their desired partner's whole gender chooses to seek out the worst of their own kind? Put simply, if nice guys and nice girls both finish last, how are they not meeting each other at the finish line? As this blue redacted commenter writes, why is it so hard for this to even parallel or match up? Thusly, we arrive at the nice paradox, a conundrum that has baffled philosophers for literal minutes. In the eye of a true nice girl or guy, this paradox holds water. It will conquer their every waking minute, run through their minds as they toss restlessly in the middle of the night, break through the crisp 4 a.m. air with a cry of why, if God is good, why do the nice girls and nice guys not match up? Now, for the rest of us, the answer is pretty obvious. They're just not as nice as they think they are. But that doesn't really feed the ego of those afflicted by such a condition, and so the artificial paradox lives on. Sorry, Chad. I don't need your lifting advice. Go talk to that girl in the Gymshark leggings doing those lame booty band workouts that actually wants your attention. It's a... Uh, it's a picture of her lifting. I'd like to start off by saying two things. One, guys shouldn't hit on girls at the gym. It's creepy, it's not what they're there for. Just let people work out. And second, there can be a lot of sexism when it comes to women in athletic scenarios. That's a real issue. However, we can try to overcome these things without putting down other women. I'd gander that someone's legging choice doesn't define them, just like this poster doesn't want to be defined by anything other than her ability to lift a shit ton of weights. You deserve respect regardless of what other women do, and you deserve that respect without putting down other women in the process. Now because YouTube sees satire and criticism as the demonetizable discussion of harmful acts, this video will almost certainly contain no ads. Fortunately, the video is sponsored by my Discord server, a community of 7,000 users brought together by Reddit posts just hanging out. Join today to get access to killer emojis like way too many of my staff members' pets, inside jokes from two years ago, and a teeny tiny Baja Blast. Link is at the top of the description, and if you don't click it, your mom's a hoe. So, my boyfriend's mad at me because I went through his phone while he was asleep. By the way, I didn't find anything. But instead of arguing with me, he buys me Chipotle snacks and card that says, I'm sorry for not making you feel safe and secure, but there's nobody else but you. Wow, he is a king and he deserves so much better than you. Let's argue. If you're dating a man for six months and he can't loan you $300 when you're in a crisis, he needs to be dumped and blocked without explanation. Look, I get the argument that six months isn't that long, and while I think that immediate dumping and blocking without explanation is stupid, I do think there should be a $300 level of trust between two people who've been dating for half a year. However, if you are in need of a $300 loan, 
What if he doesn't have 300 to loan you? What if he's looking at 500 in the bank account and rent's due in two days? Maybe he's got 200 and the paycheck doesn't come until Friday. You're gonna dump him because he's going through the same struggles that you are? Money is a leading cause of divorce, but I can guarantee you that actively choosing not to communicate about these issues is only going to make them worse. Oh, nice girls, we're out here, but we get friend zoned or overlooked because we're not the skinniest or wear the most makeup. We're out there. Usually just afraid to shoot our shot because we generally find ourselves in the friend zone. I am this type of girl. Are they really rare? Yeah, we're here. The other girls have hidden us because they know that we'll take every good man out there. Yes, that must be what is going on. And to answer the last question, are they really rare? Well, your comment got 4,000 likes. You tell me how rare they are. You gotta hit your man with bro once or twice a day to remind him he can easily go back to the friend zone. Now this sounds like a super healthy, not at all toxic relationship. If a girl cares about you, she'll get upset over little things. And if you can't handle that, go for a hoe that doesn't care what you do. To everyone that hates me, go fuck yourselves. Because I'm actually a really nice girl, right? Because really nice people are frequently known to say, go fuck yourself. Confession number 612. I keep attracting nerds. I am a nerd magnet. Only boys with hunchbacks, glasses, bad smell keep coming to me. And I am hot and pretty as so many people are telling me this. I literally get compliments all the time about how hot my body is, how well I dress, how pretty my face is. Also, I'm a bit athletic. I even wear brands and everything, but no. I keep attracting nerds who know nothing about real life and they only talk about studying, books, physics, math, and programming who are unable to have a normal conversation about normal life. What is wrong with me? Oh my god. I wear all of the popular brands and yet boys don't like me. Well, scratch that. The boys I want to like me don't like me. I love that there are 35 reactions and 137 comments. Holy sh**, what I wouldn't give to see that comment section. Why didn't you come over? I was planning on having sex with you. You're so inconsiderate. Oh, hey, Black Scribbly Redacted, sorry about that. You know we're in a pandemic, right? I'm supposed to be staying home right now, so... Sorry I didn't come over, and as I am flattered, you know I have a girlfriend, right? So? So what if there's a corona, or that you have a girlfriend? Well, here's the problem. You told me it was your brother's birthday party, and he's my best friend, and I told him I couldn't make it, and we barely know each other, and I'm not trying to f*** you. Ugh. It's always guys like you find the ugly chick, and never want to go for someone pretty like me. Yeah. If you don't see the pandemic, and infidelity as issues you're probably not the catch that you think you are i'm nice but i'm an asshole but my heart's big as fuck, but i don't really care at all but i care sometimes but fuck everybody if if that makes sense yeah i feel it lol well first of all charge your phone and second of all this feels like the kind of thing that someone would share to justify themselves being an asshole like sure I'm an asshole some of the time, but you deserved it or some bullshit like that. You don't get to decide that you are nice to other people. That's pretty clearly up for them to decide about your actions. If you're not nice, you're not nice. Fucking deal with it. If your parents let you go everywhere, you're ugly. Pretty girls got strict moms. Okay, so it seems to me like the person who posted this on Instagram has a very strict mom and she is targeting a very specific person that she knows will see this. This is not just a, a casual thought that you have. This is born out of targeting someone. I don't think she's hard to love. Maybe she just seems difficult because nobody ever had the patience to understand her. Look, you're not a dog. Anyone else ever feel like they're not anyone's type, but on a small level, you don't get why because you're a great person? Well, there are two outcomes that I can see here. Either one, you're not as great as you think you are, or two, you're like 16 sharing this on Instagram and you just haven't met a partner yet, and that is totally okay. All right, we got a, a YouTube video of a couple getting married, and this commenter says, I'm 127 pounds, blonde, pretty, and single. I feel so f***ing insulted right now. Yeah, 
There's nothing wrong with having high self-esteem, but having to put others down to feel better about yourself is pathetic as f and it shows you're actually very insecure. And I think this comment really hit the nail on the head as far as the general thematic content of all my nice girl commentary goes. It's good to have strong self-esteem. It's good to value yourself, but it's not good to put down other people to get there. When you finger me, versus when you finger her. Both of you please see a gynecologist.